So we are still in Ubud. Aditi is riding. She's taking full responsibility of any excess or fines if we have to pay just because she doesn't have a license. But she doesn't want to listen. So we are taking ride from here and that's Ubud Palace. All lit up for the festival. Looks beautiful. We passed this place in the morning. Great. We are going back to the monkey forest area. Oh, we keep passing this place. Gelato Jetty. Looks pretty cool. I said today is a festival in Bali, so a lot of, lot of celebration going on, quite a common sight. This music and then they have Unfortunately, just spending two days might be enough, might not. It's not definitely, so ensure you guys have at least three days, a minimum of three. It's nine o'clock in the evening. Eight. Sorry, eight in the evening. Notice quite a few vape stores around. So vapes are illegal in Australia now. Where are we, going? we keep going straight. We are back to Punjabi Grill Indian cuisine, followed by Sitara, which is vegetarian chain and non-vegetarian. Very weird to find non-veg in a chain place. Usually the kitchen is separate, but over here you have it in the same place. So we are taking left from here right is our hotel but we are going to return the bike now bikes are given on a 24 hour slot which means that we had to give the bike at 10 in the morning but just because we are going to Mount Batur we have to wake up at 3 we have to actually be ready by 3 and meet the guy at the hotel lobby we might be back by 11 or 12 so better to return the bike now than keep it and we can just walk it Australian rates still at 9.7. If you are lucky, we'll get 9.8. But I found out and I managed to have 9.87 zero. It's 9.5 zero. Yeah, but it's still very expensive. So in such marketplaces, it's always better to have a scooty, a bike car is a no-no you will be stuck in traffic for eternity so yeah just go on the scooter gelato is quite popular here another thing is grab so you can order a grab motorbike <coughs> sorry so we have seen a lot of girls do it just ride fill in with the grab guy and he will drop you to your destination. So I think we are very close to the bike shop. I'll have to figure out which shop it is. What's the name? As it might be closed. I don't know the name. I just went by the number of bikes parked okay. outside. Yeah. And yeah, it looks like, no, it's not this one. We just keep going. It 
it's actually ahead or the one on the left I think just slow down give your indicator yes it's the one on the left so probably sorry be careful just take it Aditi will park the bike on the left you've taken it wrong so opposite panorama in Ubud just 100k I will call the guy and ask him to come now but look at this badass so we have just come to a Mexican place Taco Casa after returning the bike going to have a sizzling fajita and some cocktails what are you planning to have? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> pretty nice setup you're copying me again? And what are we having for the cocktails? This one is a margarita, which is tamarind one, which is tequila, for Jose, and a Long Island iced tea for me. Oh, you changed your mind? Yes. So that's our cocktail, the tamarind margarita, something different, and the same old Long Island iced tea. I should have been a bit adventurous and tried something else. Oh, nice. How was yours? Very different. Nice. That's my sizzling fajitas. Just for 80,000 rupiah or 8 dollars. Chicken. Aditi has ordered the same in veg. The food is served so quickly. That's Aditi's vegetarian food. We can't wait to eat. Very hungry.